Hey guys, it's Chad here with Limitless Realty Group. I want to give you guys a quick update about the housing market right now. There's a lot of uh, discussion about what new home buyers can afford. Also, what the rental market is going to you know, start impacting some of the people who've been paying rent um, due to inflation, due to the economy changing. And there's a lot of opportunity um, still to get into a home, but you have to understand where your position is within the market. And it's my job to kind of educate you. So that's why I wanted to talk about affordability today. Um, and today is, you know, it's, it's only May of 2022. We're halfway through the year. We don't know what the rest of the year is going to bring um, in terms of the entire economy overall. However, I can say uh, from what I've witnessed um, in real estate here in San Antonio, much less Southern Texas, uh, there's still a high, high demand. I just went to Houston in March to show a home to a client and we put uh, an offer in $16,000 over and um, unfortunately the client lost that home due to 40 other offers on the same home. So there's still pent up demand and it's not just because of the post pandemic era, it's actually due to the fact that uh, I read an article from Zillow last year that um, said that there was approximately 6 million homes that were not built between the years of 2008 and 2011. The difference this time is this is not driven by a typical uh, crisis in terms of an economic um, uh, collapse, if you will. It's based off of stimulated economy, falsely stimulated economy in terms of inflation hitting the market. Um, there's also another article by a former U.S. Uh, Department of Treasury um, worked with President Bush. He wrote about a, a term called stagflation is going to hit the market. So stagflation is not something we have to worry about in terms of the real estate market, but in terms of our day-to-day -day lives, right? So fast forward two or three years from now, we are still going to be seeing the impact of what we just went through with the stimulus checks and all of the information that is disposed through the media uh, to make us feel comfortable that things are happening or make us feel uncomfortable that things are going to happen. We may see a slight recession. Yes, there's gonna be some scarcity and some things, um, but I believe it's going to allow us as a whole to kind of figure out where we need to pivot in terms of our society, in terms of humanity, um, in terms of helping each other, in terms of uh, new business ventures. Remember, this is the gig economy, right? So the gig economy is something where, for example, I have you know two jobs versus just one job, or I have three jobs versus just one job. And not saying me personally, but some people are working at Uber. Some people are also delivering pizzas. Some people are um, you know, doing a nine to five job as well because they want to have that lifestyle that they can't quite afford, but they don't know how else to get there, right? And if you like what you heard so far, please go ahead and subscribe below. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, click the learn more button. If this is on Instagram, just message me. Uh, you can talk to my, my assistant, Sam. Uh, he'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I'm here for you 24 seven. Just let me know what you need. Appreciate you. So affordability means many things right now to us, um, as well as inflation hitting the real estate market. I have, um, I have experts in the industry as well as myself, not only myself, but loan officers who do this on a daily basis and get, getting people qualified for home loans. Mortgage applications has decreased. Um, rental applications have you know, been the same as not continuing to go up because the people who want to buy a home now can't afford a home because of the inflation that's hit the uh, interest rates. Now remember, let's back up a second. Go back to when our parents were buying homes back in the 90s and the 80s. They were paying 15, 16% interest for a home. So when we're freaking out about five or 6%, you're still actually affording a home uh, compared to what we've seen in the historical uh, you know, days to come or days in the past, I'm sorry. So the point is though, we're, you know, we're in a higher, uh, and a part of our dollar doesn't go as far as it did in the 80s and 90s, of course. Um, however, there's still some relativity there in terms of economics. So now we're talking about supply and demand. The reason I'm standing in front of this house, which you can barely see, but I'll tell you what, it's impromptu. It's a beautiful house. If you check out my reels, you'll be able to see um, throughout the house. It's actually going for 800,000 here in San Antonio, Texas. It's been on the market for 30 days. Now, houses that have been on the market for more than 30 days um, you know, there's already some stigmatism, stigmatism happening versus, you know, before uh, pre-pandemic COVID, it was normal for a house to sit on the market for 30 to 45 days. 
So I think we're going to see some of the prices of homes decrease uh, that have been sitting on the market due to the fact that A, the seller either needs to move and they just want to get out of that mortgage. They've already moved on. Uh, B, they, you know, if this was a new construction home, I'm sure the loan needs to be paid off um, so that the new homeowner can take over the mortgage. Um, you know, uh, C, the cost of construction is going to continue to rise. And another fact that I'll tell you guys about is <clears throat> it's actually cheaper right now, not cheaper, but it's the same price uh, in terms of new construction versus pre-owned because the demand is, is equally the same in terms of people needing to move. Meaning, so a house that may be $230 a square foot or $100 a square foot here, you know, may still be $230, you know, a square foot over here, even though it's a new build versus pre-owned. So there's many opportunities, but you have to figure out and get with an expert, your local neighborhood real estate expert like myself, uh, Limitless Realty Group, veteran owned and operated. I've been doing this for three years already. I've sold over $8 million worth of inventory uh, here in Southern Texas. I serve uh, Austin, Houston, San Antonio, and Corpus Christi. Um, I'm also involved with investments in the city. I understand um, flips, I understand uh, you know, people could be facing foreclosure soon because the forbearances are up in the mortgage. In, in their mortgage and um, you know so there's a lot of opportunity still in real estate depending on your situation depending on your position it's my job to educate you and figure out where you land in that um, repertoire of conversation so please reach out to me 210-595-9050 uh, feel free to follow me on uh, and subscribe uh, to my channel also check out my reels I have many other opportunities uh, available to you uh, you just have to let me know whenever you have time. Thank you guys for tuning in.